a rare privilege to introduce a very bright young man, Juan Guerra. Juan Guerra is a Mexican who is passionate about microfinance. But as we spend the last few minutes talking, his true passion is really to break the social barriers through education. He's going to present his project. His project and his business is a student funder. He really find, found a way of how to help people with not, not enough means to get a loan, a loan to get an education, a loan to advance in life. So I'm really proud to introduce Juan Guerra. Please tell us about your project. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you very much for a very kind introduction to my countrymen. And I'm humbled to be here before you. We seem to have consensus around an idea that education is the key. Yet access to education is not there for many people. I come from Mexico. My name is Juan. I'm living in London. And I'd like to tell you about new ways to fund higher education. I am someone who always struggled to fund his own education, yet somehow I managed. To do a master's, I received a few scholarships, I sold everything I had, and I was still missing money. I was missing 10,000 pounds, and the university was offering to give me a 5,000 pound scholarship. I asked them to give me a 10,000 pound loan instead, and it turned out it was so difficult for the university to lend me money that in the end, they gave me a 10,000 pound scholarship. <laughs> that, <laughs> thank you. Well, that was, that was great for me, but obviously not very efficient because I would have very happily paid those 10,000 pounds back so that someone else could have benefited in the future. And it turns out it's very obvious that a 10,000 pound scholarship can help one student, but a 10,000 pound loan can help one student every time it is repaid. Loans can recycle scholarships, so they can help people on and on and on. In the UK, masters and professional courses are not funded by the government nor the banks. It is mostly the bank of mom and dad that people have to go to if they want to further themselves. And that is hugely wasteful to the economy and terribly unfair. And I felt that I could use some of my personal experience and professional background to do something about it. So one day I left a comfortable corporate job to set up Student Funder. Studentfunder.com provides loans for masters and professional courses in the UK to talented people who have no access to bank finance. For large banks with high operating costs, providing small loans to students is too costly. But we use technology, which dramatically reduces both the cost and the risk of serving these people. Lending to students is hard. We can't rely on credit histories. But unlike banks, we look at people's future potential, not just their past. And we can take guarantors into account. And we are also using crowdfunding. People who don't have guarantors can qualify for loans if they, re if they manage to raise at least 1,500 pounds from 15 different people. Through crowdfunding, students can demonstrate their commitment, they provide social proof, and give us a list of 15 people who can give them a little nudge if they forget to pay back. <laughs> Some of our loans are funded by individuals who lend to a portfolio of students via the website. Students pay back a fair rate, and individuals get a good return. It's a win-win. We also run installment plans on behalf of universities. And we're setting up a fund to scale up in 2015. Big business has done very much for Student Funder. One of our earliest investors has been Telefonica through its accelerator, Wira. And the, the education team of Barclays have been instrumental, providing introductions for, for us to the right people in universities. And we have even designed a product together. All too often, though, Big business gets bogged down in bureaucracy. It is usually a handful of people within those large organizations that create change. The unsung heroes, the intrapreneurs. The intrapreneurs are the ones who engage with the entrepreneurs. They help us reach the tipping point. They help us exceed. 
They are the innovators harnessing the power of their big business to make something happen. So to all those troublemakers within big businesses, to all those in fantastic small organization, thank you very much for pushing us forward. And to the rest I say, go stir up some trouble and make a change. Muchas gracias.